We learned something today. Don't use the word conservative to Ravens offensive coordinator Marty Morningweg when talking about his play calling. Well, yeah, I mean, it depends on, and I hate that word, by the way. I don't want to get called that very often. Ah, bothers me. This came up because after Sunday's 19-14 win over the Bengals, quarterback Joe Flacco said that the offense got a little too conservative in the second half. The team had built up a 16-3 lead, but they just couldn't completely put the Bengals away. And that made things way more exciting than they needed to be in the final few minutes. Joe and Marty had a good conversation about all that after the game, and they both feel like they need to keep the pressure on once they build up that lead. I think I won that debate, by the way. Okay. Uh, but he didn't tell you that? No, he did not. No, I got he probably thinks he won the debate, but I uh, got it. But uh, yeah, I, you know, and you go back through, you got to, you really, I, I will say this, you got to go back through it because you got to get down to what's real uh, rather than what's on paper. Uh, comfortable that we did the things that we had to do to win the doggone game. That, I mean, that's, that's the most important thing. A little disappointed that. Yeah, we could be, we certainly could be more aggressive. No question about that. Something else that was interesting from today's press conference was hearing defensive coordinator Dean Pease talk about the relationship that he has with Dolphins head coach Adam Gates. Dean actually met Adam when he was back in high school and helped give him his start in the coaching profession. I was recruiting Marshall High School in Michigan when I was at Michigan State and I signed their, their quarterback, a kid named Ryan Van Dyne, and uh, Adam was his best friend. He always wanted to be a coach. He wasn't going to come out for football necessarily, but he wanted to be a coach and asked me if there was something if he could do as a student assistant. So I put him to work. It's a great story. It also just kind of tells you a little bit about the kind of person that Dean Pease is. And the last thing I want to mention is that we do have some tickets available for Sunday's game. The Dolphins returned 200 tickets today that they're not going to use. So that means that you need to act quickly to make sure that you have a seat at MZ Bake Stadium this weekend to give us a great home field advantage for this huge game. Go ahead and get those tickets on Ticketmaster. That's it for me on the final drive today. But as always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch all of you again tomorrow.